that was some dark mini, eh, bud? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh! <laughs> Hi, guys! <clears throat> it's Music Clues here. Hey, subscribers. Is Ethan here? Uh, yeah, let's just say me and Ethan had a pretty late night last night. Night. And no, we didn't stay up way for Nintendo Direct. It was something else in personal real life that kept us up. So we're a little sleepy. We, 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 let's just say, guys, let's just say it's one of our friend of ours. That's all we, I can say. Yeah. So we were up a little bit, uh, so up until about five o'clock. Yeah, I mean, you can get much sleep tonight. But! Uh, we did see, uh, as you could probably tell, we, uh, we're here for today's Culture Cap show, although you're going to have to give us a little bit of time to get, actually get dressed and changed, changed, and then we'll go over the news. But what, uh, uh, Culture Cap show is going to be split up into two different parts. Uh, the first part will be covering all the negative news, news due to this Stupid virus that's going around. Everybody should know by this point on the on the news and some sorts. Let's just say it's a called coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so as you can probably tell, Ethan has been with me over the last couple of weeks. We a weeks. Uh, he's been stuck here at my house. So um, yeah. But uh, uh, that's what we're gonna be going over. Uh, over all the negative first, so all the delays, all that. But well, at least in the in the in the channel, guys, you get more fun from me, and the recordings of the certain games are in the channel. So yeah. Uh, also, also, just so you know, we will not be talking about anything politician. This is strictly related to anything coming. Uh, uh, delays coming from games, new media, uh, uh, movies. Or t uh, or anime, that's it. Yep. So, oh, and cartoons and the occasional fandom based TV show. Uh, but like I said, that's it. Yep. N nothing politician related. You can I can promise you, I promise you that it's not coming to this channel since we have an anti policy uh politician rule. Yeah, but one thing we could say though is, is that I don't know if some of you guys in the states or something are in lockdown for this coronavirus. So right now, we're technically locked down for that, so. Yeah, that's why Ethan's been hanging with me these last couple of weeks. Weeks, he needs someone to share with. And I was one of happy to. As you've been noticing, we've been recording a lot of videos lately for you guys, so I hope you've been enjoying them. Enjoying them. Please take a look if you're new to the channel. I even made a brand new playlist Playlist of gameplay videos, videos that you guys can check out on the Foot Channel's main page, and that we'll be updating that, that as much as we can until this lockdown's over. Yes. So, um, but yeah, uh, and then part two will be all the positive stuff, all the cool stuff that's coming out, or even the things we checked out recently. Yes. Yes. Uh, not too many movies this month. Uh. Uh, because, well, honestly, we didn't go to the movies all that much. <laughs> yeah, but there is some announcements that we should talk about in, in the positive side. Yep. Uh, and also, well, obviously, this was pretty obvious that this month was going to be packed with games, and woo, boy, do we have a lot to talk about. Yep, I mean, games are good side, but the rest of this, rest of this, not so much. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of po positive news, too, including information about Xbox One uh, uh, Series X, uh, PlayStation 5, although, albeit the uh, information that we don't really need. Yep. Uh, and finally, as you probably saw by the intro of this, Nintendo finally, finally, finally announced had a Nintendo Direct Mini as of this video's recording. Uh, and me and Ethan had just finished watching it. So we will be giving our reactions and our thoughts on that as well. Mm -hmm. There's also more other news tidbits that we've seen here and there. Yup. And then finally, in terms of anime, well... We have a few we can talk about, because i already seen a few anime, like, like, uh, was it? Plunder, or a bit of the latest arc, One Piece. Now I have an opinion about the what's coming to the latest 
latest episode of One Piece, so... Yeah. Uh, um, and also, also, we have some special announcements about s- some uh, anime-related news, news in terms of games, for a specific franchise that was just yep. announced, mm-hmm. uh, some anime coming to uh, uh, streaming services, and a shocking return from a very popular series. Yep. Uh, so, and a spinoff in addition to that. Yep. So, are you, uh, so, are y'all ready? Are you get ready to grab your camera, grab a cup of coffee, and get ready to click. Like, guys, like. Like what I'm doing right here. That's my coffee. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> grab your cup of coffee, or your pop, or whatever, ever, ever, whatever you're watching this. Uh, pull up a blanket, make it, get, get a snack. Because, uh, we're going to be here for a while for today's culture capture. After we get changed first. Yes. Uh, just give me a second to change into some more comfortable clothes, like... Alright. Right, I'll change the menu to... But... <laughs> were you sneaking in an anim- uh, episode of One Piece or two? Well, I, w- I wasn't... Okay, guys, that's a long story. <laughs> it's safe for our anime showdown being true for the showdown video, Mr. Mr. Ka- Mr. Watchathon. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ways, this is part, like I said, this is part one of two of our ca- Ultra Capture for the, mo- for the month of March. And unfortunately... If you don't want this part, you might want to skip to part two because <laughs> this is going to be pretty much all negative stuff. Yep. Now, this is all on anime delays, movie delays, and the pretty obvious one, gaming delays. Now, thankfully, not many video games have been delayed. Yep. But gaming events. Yes. Have been. So, um, we're just going to be talking about the biggest ones. Like, the big yes. events. Events yes. that we know are cancelled. As well as a couple of well-known eSport events that I know fans look forward to it each year, so, yeah. Uh, but, first one, let's get the big one out of the way. For those who are excited for this year's E3, I got some bad, sad, and pretty unexpected news to tell ya. For the first time since me and Ethan have been started to watch E3, it's been officially canceled. Wah, wah, wah. Well, because, guys, let's think of it this way. I know you guys are hyped for E3, me and MC as well, but problem is, dude, because Corona, I'll tell you something. In California, as we all, as we all know, that state over there is one of the worst states that had that type of virus. So it makes sense how how you wanted to cancel it. There's a lot of people down there. We were in where we're at. Yeah. So unfortunately, that was the case. So sorry, E3 fans. Good news is most gaming companies have said that they're still going to be launching the E3 coverage, like Limited Run Games has still announced that they're going to be doing that stuff up in June, and many other companies will be announcing stuff in June as well. So at least there will be at least there's something to make up for it. But at the moment. Uh, there's no real news. But, like I said, in our positive side, there is some news from Nintendo, so we at least got a little bit of... We don't have to wait for E3 for that, but, like I said, we'll get to that in a little bit, but... Unfortunately, for those who are looking forward to E3 this year, I hate to be the bad bad news, but... Yeah, it's officially cancelled. Yup. Sorry, guys. But, that's what happens. Yup. Alright. The game it, now the game developer conference now for those who are game developers me and even I personally but I always th- think it's interesting to hear stuff from game developers. Uh, sadly, that has been uh, sadly that has been postponed. They are going to be launching a new event called G- uh, Game Developer Conference Summer later this well summer. So, yeah, and they just recently hosted a live stream event on Twitch. More than likely, we'll see our Animal Crossing panel later this summer. Summer, But, 
yeah, it's unfortunate that got can't uh, that got postponed. But at least it wasn't canceled, so I'm very excited. I'm still very excited to see that happening in the least. Yep, that is for sure. Gamescom. Now, uh, Gamescom has not been postponed for the time being, being nor canceled. Canceled uh, at the moment. Moment. Uh, if we hear any news otherwise, we will let you guys know in our part two. Two, as the news could be going on as this gets posted. But um, for the time being, to my and Ethan's knowledge, uh, there is no postponement for Gamescom uh, to uh, 2020 yet. Right. As for PAX West. Mm-hmm. Um, Pax West. Uh, 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 Pax West 2020 is still on as well. Mm. Well, we haven't heard any news. News. Uh, Pax. Uh, uh, Pax event happened earlier this year, and we were lucky that it still happened. So maybe we'll s still see it happen this year, but unless unless this violence gets a lot worse, because it is it currently because uh, it will be taking place in Washington, which is one of the hottest states right now. Now with the coronavirus, uh, then we'll have to wait and see. But yep. uh, for the time being, Pax West is still on. South and Southwest, however. Got bad news. And some good news for Sonic fans. Fans. Uh, bad news. South and Southwest has unfortunately been canceled. Canceled. Sadly, it, sadly it's because of Austin, Texas. Yup. I bet you in Texas also has corona. So, technically guys, don't expect uh, some states have no corona cases. Yeah. Uh, but Texas is a big state, so, and, uh, South and Southwest is a pretty big music event, so unfortunately, it got canceled. Good news, though. For Sonic fans, Sonic will, Sonic will still be delivering news from its panel in April, but it won't be here. Uh, but it won't be this much. Good news, uh, but they will be hosting some kind of news event, event soon, so it's not like we won't get any news out of this. Right. Uh, but it will be interesting to see. Now, as for San Diego, uh, as for was it San Diego Comic Con or something? Yep. Yeah, San Diego Comic Con, the one, uh, uh the comic books E three. Uh, it has not officially been canceled as of right now. It's postponed, I believe. No, uh, that is its sister. Uh, that is its sister con, WonderCon. I see. But uh, Comic Con itself has not been canceled as of right now, mm -hmm. or postponed. So we will keep you up to date on that. But let's hope because not because that's what anime and comic books, essentially, especially comic books, make their debut. So if that gets uh, delayed, late or canceled, uh, that's gonna be bad news for several fans. Yeah. So as of right now, that has not been canceled. Now, as for some of the games done quick, you guys know, know, know that uh, Austin games done quick and uh, Phosphor Touts took place earlier this year. Uh, 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 however, did, as of right now, we do not know if uh, some of the games done quick is going to get canceled, but... Considering it's in June, late June, um, to be precise, I'm more than positive it could still go on. But if the virus gets worse, we'll have to see. Yes. Now, for Overwatch fans... Um, That'll be Overwatch League. Yeah. Which is, like, same thing like, uh, like, a, this is, like, actual eSport eSports. Uh... Yep. Uh, so, oh, as of right now, for the Overwatch League League in this part of this year, all March and April events have been canceled. Play will still happen, but um, uh, live events and homestands will no longer take place. Um, 
and all matches will be online only in order to prevent the virus from getting spread. Correct. Call of Duty League. Now for Call of Duty, Duty. By the way, I have articles up, so that's why. Um, at the mo. Uh, okay, so the league, so the league will continue online only, but no live events will be taking place, unfortunately. Right, just to prevent from spreading. That's obvious. This is League of Legends. Yep. The, uh, Riot Games, unfortunately, uh, has several things to announce, but I'm only going to talk about North America and Europe, since that's the one that really matters. So, as for North America, uh, attendance will only be for players and staff. Staff. And um, all, all LSC operations will be suspended until further notice. Um, for European events, uh, uh, it's the same thing. Thing live events will be restricted to players and staff only, and LAC events have been also suspended until further notice. As for Rocket League, unfortunately, the the I can't say the same. Rocket League has sadly made a decision to cancel the highly anticipated season nine for April, a April, which kind of sucks, but it makes a lot of sense since it's still within virus range. Range and this virus is probably gonna spread spread worse before it gets better in April. Yep. So unfortunately, that will not be happening. As for the Tekken and Soul Calibur tournament, tournament they've been halted for the time being. Being. Uh, as for the Capcom Pro, Pro Toy, that has also been halted for the time being. Also, next will be Xbox Legends Global Series. Uh, that is now in limbo, unfortunately. Uh, the major one, which is supposed to be, be here. Uh, uh, major one has been postponed one week before it was scheduled to take place, and a makeup date has not been announced. Uh, Aspect Legends Global Series Tournament Two, two. Is still scheduled to be well. Actually, it should be be up by this point. Point. So, um, yeah. The Delta Two International. Um, as of now, it's still scheduled to go on. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go check Delta's Twitter account out to make sure sure that is still the case. Yes. Okay, okay. So according to Delta Two, uh, Delta Two's tw official Twitter account, they have ma made the difficult decision to cancel the fourth minor and major tournaments of the DCP season. So there's your, there's your news there. Yep. Let me see. The Smash World, t uh, World. World Tour, uh, um, uh, events have been suspended through April. Yes. So there will be no events, unfortunately. Next one is Evo uh, 2020. I think I know this is, guys. This is like, um, what do you call? I thought this is one of those fighting league tournaments or something? That is correct. Yeah, it also had a couple of list of the fighting games we're going to be in there is Samurai Slowdown is one of them. Tekken 7 is also one of them. Okay, so as of right now, Evil seems to be going forward, but I'm going to double check the Twitter just to be safe. Because we could be wrong sometimes. Don't, don't mean that. <laughs> so 
Sometimes we misread things, really. Oh, the... Okay, so it looks like they are still moving for forward with their plans at the moment moment. So no news news yet. But uh I will keep you guys updated on Twitter obviously. So stay tuned if we hear anything thing different. Um What's down right there in the top? This will be Oh that this is Battle Underground uh, Battle Okay, Battleground uh, play on old battleground. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but that title is just mouthful. Yeah, uh, that's why I call it PUBG for sure. Yeah, uh, it's so mouthful. Uh, PUBG mobile events will be online only. So, Unfortunately. So yeah. Um, Quick con. Oh yeah, this is a part of the uh, Benesta's. Um, one of the bestest companies, I would say. Uh, yes, this is Bethesda's special event that they host every year. Yeah. Um, but whether that still takes place is uh, any anybody's question. As of right now, it seems to still be taking place. I'm going to check the official Twitter just to be safe. Yep. Uh, but as of right now, Quaycon seems to still be on track for this year. Yeah. Yeah, since it's in August, August of Isles should be long gone by then. Yes. Yeah, it looks like we're still, uh, still on for this year. Yes, so far, so there has been no announcement yet. But we will see. Okay, so EGG Vest. Um, this is a London Gaming Con. So far, it has been postponed to the summer. So, we do not know a new date yet. But, um, for the time being, being, yeah. Minecraft Festival. Yep. Now, the mi Uh... Um, uh, so Minecraft Festival, unfortunately, will be postponed, but Minecraft Live will still happen, so you got Minecraft fans who are excited, including our own Galaxy the Gamer, ain't Emma, uh, unfortunately, there will be somewhat of a live event, but it won't be, like, a uh, community reaction, so you all, you might want to tune into the Twitch and stuff. Uh, uh it's a very sad thing, because this looks like... Looks like it would have been a fun event for Minecraft fans, but hey, what can you do? Yep. Oh, problem is, it's in September, so I don't see why they would do that, because the virus could still be long gone. But then again, that's close to cold and flu season, season which could, if the virus is not gone, it could spread even worse. So, yeah. Yeah, well, lucky lucky we were at the tail end of winter, winter when this happened. Mm-hmm. As for the Classic Champion uh, Tetris World Tournament Championship, um, um, <laughs> sorry guys, we got so almost, so almost, almost a lot of things we gotta go over in this. Okay, so oh, as for the uh, tournament, it has been, it is going on at the moment. Could it continue? Continue, but the con that was going to take place, unfortunately, has been cancelled. And that was going to be the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So, yeah. If there's any other major events, we will let you guys know, but those are all the events that currently have been cancelled or delayed due to this virus. As far as to my knowledge of games, uh, no gaming, uh, gaming release dates have been delayed. However, there have been a couple concerns. So does that mean Ethan would like to express? One, for all those who are Final Fantasy fans, fans, don't worry, Final Fantasy VII's remake has not been delayed at all. It's still on for April 10th. However, Ethan might, might, might want to tell them the news. Okay, so for what I understand... Those of you who are getting standard copies, you're okay. You can still get the game during the lunch. But as for ones who are getting the first class edition, like me, of course, 
we might have to wait for the next couple of days or so. So, I mean, hey, I played the actual demo of the game. And now to tell you my expression of it, real quick, before, before we keep explaining this. It's a good game, guys. And this, in my opinion, don't bash on me, the long-time fans, Final Fantasy fans. I play the original, and I'm going to be honest with myself. I sort of like the remake better than the original. The original's just... I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. That is a fair one. And you can try it, so fair. But uh, either way, wait, I will say, say, say this. Uh, our physical versions for the standard edition will more than likely still go on. I mean, it is just a standard copy of a disc. Disc, I mean, it could be delayed too, but it's less likely than uh, collector's edition because that is a bigger package. Uh, but for all we know, all, all physical versions have been... Uh, Possibly delayed. It could be alive a couple days later. Later, so you might want to think about getting digital. Digital, just in case. Uh, uh, as for Persona fans, as to my knowledge, I'm not sure if GameStop's going to be able to uh, ship us our copies. I personally have the Loyal uh, uh, Phantom Thieves Launch Edition, edition over Pyota at all local GameStop. So I'm not sure if I'll still be able to pick up my copy. Uh, but um, we'll probably have to head out to GameStop sometime this weekend and double check with them, because if I can't, then ouch, that one hurts. Yep. I mean, if we we're already forced, forced to cancel our One Piece pre-order, order and get Pirate Warriors digitally, because we're unsure about our physical versions arriving on time. Yeah. So, yeah, just to keep an eye on that, Persona Pals. Um... Let me see. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it in terms of gaming. Yep. All right. So, next up, movie announcements. Oh, I know one has been postponed, by the way, guys. It's a one only high anticipated Disney live action remake adaption is also unfortunately um, postponed, by the way is Mulan. Those of you should know Mulan. So, okay, so what I understand is, is what, to my knowledge, it says that, well, that's gonna get postponed until the next few weeks later, if I'm not mistaken, for the movie in theaters. So, which means we're gonna have to wait for that. Yep. As for note, uh, now I have a list here of stuff that has been postponed. Pona possibly, yeah. So, uh, for No Time to Die for James Bond fans, uh, it is postponing the release of No Time to Die until November 2020, so you won't see it until this fall, guys. On the bright side, it may give it a little time to get, be more cooked in the oven, but we'll see. Uh, Quiet Place Part 2 has been delayed. Peter Rabbit The Runaway 2 has been um, delayed to April 7th, uh, August 7th. Sad, sadly, not in time for Easter. So, for, your, for those who are looking forward to an Easter event, you're going to have to wait, sadly. Final Furious, uh, Aston Furious 9 has been delayed till next year in April. So, sorry guys, you're going to have to wait another year. I know, it sucks. Um, the Love Birds have postponed, have been postponed, Paramount has announced, and Blue Story has also been, been postponed. Um, the artist's wife will, uh, uh, will, has also been postponed. The Truth has been postponed, postponed from March to a new, to an unspecific date. That's the one I mentioned. The next one is Mulan, of course, and it should say when it's gonna get delayed till. Yep, uh, it's gonna look at new release dates in 2020, 20, but they don't know when. So, uh, which means, guys, don't take my words. I say next few weeks. Don't take my words. Just, just take MC words because he's looking up what it said. Yep. Um. Okay. The New Mutants has also been uh, pushed back by Disney. It was gonna. Open April 3rd, but due to feed, is probably still being closed. By then, it's not happening. Yep. Antlia, 
uh, uh, Antlia's has it, which is an indie horror film, mm -hmm. uh, was also pushed back by Disney, unfortunately. Blows has been pushed back. The Little Moment. This is a remake, I know that. Has been pushed back. Uh, as far as I know. And well, there's a, no, I'll go ahead. Uh, Shia Khan and the Legend of the Ten Lings. Part of the Marvel Studios. As, but will be delayed. Yes. The Last Duet will be delayed. And, and this is also due... Uh, and, uh, this is also due to the coronavirus. Yes. Nightmare Alley, unknown. Um, Shunk, Unk has been postponed, uh, postponed. Yes. Shine has been postponed. The Home Alone reboot has also been postponed. Ah, uh, the reboot. Guys, <clears throat> okay, let's stop for a second. Okay, guys, after I found out from Home Alone reboot... This is my reaction to it. I'm like, guys, you're going to ruin the one of the best classic classic movie series that everybody loves. Now, I'm a little skeptical to check it out just because we don't, we don't know if the reboot's going to do well as the original song. Yeah. Peter Pan and Wendy is another live action update. It was in pre-production and is delayed till further notice. The Prom, also delayed till further notice. An untitled Elvis movie is also delayed to further notice. And Mission Impossible 7 has been delayed to further notice. There's a lot more on this list, but uh, I think I'll leave an article below so you guys can see. Yes. Now, as for fu anime fans, for those who watch on Foundation... Foundation, uh... Which me, like me, guys, because I love Foundation. There has been a couple delays, unfortunately. Which I knew. Um, those delays include for My Hero Academia, Black Clover, um, Smile Down the Runway, and Nippaka. Uh, they have been postponed and suspended due to the coronavirus, which is a smart idea because we don't need any voice actors getting sick. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But uh, we will see. Uh, but hopefully, they will be resumed very soon. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yep. Um. Uh. Other than that, the only other thing I can tell you guys, uh, in terms of events, um, now as for mo now as for sp uh sporting events. Oh, guys! Now just remind me. Okay. Okay. So there is one thing, guys. That that for, there was a first sport league just got delayed before this lockdown happens. So I'll get this over with. Okay. So one sport event I know has been de been both well, actually got canceled the rest of the season is unfortunately NBA stands for best best the National Basketball Association. Exactly. So that one, guys. Let's just say one of the basketball players from, what is it, Utah Jazz player or something, I'm not mistaken. Put a comment below if, if I'm mistaken, okay? So that was the first ever sports league got, got canceled the rest of the season because of the corona. That uh, followed by that, the NBL had then announced that they will be postponing all of season one. Uh, all of se season one, as well as the uh, as well as the spring training, due to this virus, which is bad news for our local team. Yup, or even M MLB also got postponed until the further notice. Yeah, as far uh, as far as we know, the football league obviously that doesn't happen until later in the fall, anyways. So unless this virus extends to through summer, summer is still on for the season season. As for what I'm to our knowledge is. Yep. But, uh, yeah. So, that's... I know AHL is also postponed for the season two. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all the major stuff. There's plenty more events that we've seen that got canceled, but that's basically the gist of what's been postponed. As for what me and Ethan are currently going through right now, me and Ethan are both are sadly on a two-week break. 
uh, both of our jobs have uh, uh, have been um, suspended. E uh, mine, I work at a non-essential business, so my bus so my job has been closed till further notice. And Ethan got sick the day he was going to work. Yes, which is on a Monday. So he it, he was already going to get off next week, but he's off this week too. So because I got the so though. Yeah, so, but good news is I'm getting much better in the last couple of days, just so you know. Yeah, so Ethan's fine, fine now, but uh, at the beginning of the week, he had a little bit of a sore throat, but he's feeling mu much better. Yup. So, yeah. Okay, so that's all for the negative news, and honestly, guys, let's put it this way. This month is not the best month, unfortunately, in my opinion. Yep. And we're for all this, it will be become one of the best bumps, but nope. Sadly, it's the first time in history it's becoming a worse month that we come in some something like this happens. And it had to be around the uh, beginning of our good gaming month too. Oh I was about to enjoy the year too, guys. Well, that's not counting that yet, because we got more months left till, till we say so. Yeah, uh, but so far, 2020 is getting off to a bit of a bad start. Oh, probably worse than last year. Uh, even I dare say 2007. 17, you mean? Yep. Yep. So, yeah, but part two will be all positive. Or even the things that we checked out lately and all that. So, yeah. All right, see you in part two. See ya.